to the most beautiful sunrise at Lucky Bay, but sadly, we had to leave. We'd had an amazing five nights there, and it really had kick-started our travels. We promised ourselves that we'd be back again there one day. When that'll happen? Well, we're not sure, but we'll be sure to be back there again. The drive was pretty lengthy, 644 kilometres to the Walpole, so we had to entertain ourselves somehow. More car karaoke, and this time Mum and Dad got to choose some of the tunes. I won't play the audio for you. Charlotte's reaction to me singing one of Guns N' Roses' best is an absolute classic here. In Albany, we stocked up on some much-needed supplies and then got ready for our adventures in Walpole. Nah, I'm good. Hey, good morning. Oh, big cuddles. Thank you, darling. How are you? Good. Yeah, do you know where we are? Uh, we're at Walpole. Walpole? Walpole, aren't we? Yeah, and we're about to go out uh, exploring for the day. Hey, Ebs. How you going? Good. All right, the girls are full of beans this morning, which is really great. So we, had, we pulled up here about... Oh, 5.30 last night, it was a really slow going day um, because of roadworks and all of these sorts of things and there was a lot of people on the road. Um, <laughs> we managed to get in. Um, we're at the coal mine beach uh, holiday park and I'll tell you what, this place is, I'll just give you some, give you a look around. This place is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a really, this is a really lovely bush setting. The, the facilities are great. We've got a fire ring um, at our campsite. We're at campsite number 60 which um, we told the lady when we were booking in that we've got a really big van, so we've got a really big site. Oops, sorry guys. Um, but I don't think we're gonna be pushing anybody out because there's not many people here being at the end of the school holidays. So um, today on the agenda, we're gonna check out a few different touristy spots. We've got um, the maze back in Denmark we're gonna have a look at. We're gonna have a look at William Bay National Park. So that's uh, Elephant Cove and Green Pool. Apparently the snorkeling there is fantastic. So we're gonna take the snorkels out and uh, have a go at that. Then we're gonna go have a look at the giant ching tingle tree and um, and just see what else. There's so many little wineries and meteries and, and places here that you can see. Like when we were driving in last night, I would have counted dozens of them. So I'm really excited about checking all of those out. Um, and yeah, just finding a new place, exploring, exploring, making memories together. Awesome. <laughs> Um, a lot of fish. 
Yeah, a lot of different kinds of fish, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, what a beautiful spot, hey? So we're just heading into Elephant Rock. There's the it's a beach and I'm gonna go check it out. And um, we just went to Green's Pool. We did a little bit of snorkeling. <laughs> we saw a lot of fish and coral. It was pretty cool. We saw a really big fish. And I went there with Dad and when um Why? Because and um see the sign there. And they hang to elephant milk, which is up here. It's pretty cool. Good morning. We have got a couple of hungry seagulls here this morning who are desperate for dads. I'm not seagulls. Well, yes, you are, because you're sitting there squawking about being hungry for pancakes. So I'm gonna make pancakes. Excuse the mess. Um, we're absolutely yeah, I heard you. in a mess this morning. So I'm gonna make some pancakes, which is a tradition uh, when we go camping, and hopefully the girls will appreciate it. Bump your head. That's right. Try call when I walk up there. Yes. Yeah. Text at 6:30 this morning as well. Oh, we'll sort it out, okay. Then you deal with it. it. And you move on. Thank you. Thanks, Tana. <laughs> Pastry. Frozen strawberries. Yum. Which one? Shark. Just like that. Wait. Please. Rainbow strawberries. No. Oh yeah, I'll choose that. Uh, there's no rainbow strawberries. Oh, Evie, and then the, the rainbow pop. I have a tiny bit. No, just wait. Stop being a seagull. Oh, vultures. Oh, no, so close. No, 
And look at me. This one. Oh, and here's the finished product. What do you think, girls? Yeah. Good. What have we got on them? Strawberries and bananas. Yeah, strawberries and bananas. And what else? Maple syrup. A maple syrup. I think, do you know what I think? On second thought, I think that that's Ditter's and that's Mummy's. I'm going to have mine now. <laughs> okay, I'll have Mummy's then. No, no. <laughs> So this is the bicentennial tree. I've climbed up a few steps, but I'm not climbing any further. When I look at that down, knowing that one false step and I and I'd be done for, I don't think I'm going to risk it. So uh, call me chicken. I think I'm being smart about it. <laughs> I'll catch you at the bottom.
everybody. Um, here we are at the Conto campground in uh, Lua Naturalist National Park. It's a deep horse site, it costs us about $30 a night. Um, we've chosen the Quenda loop, we had no idea which one to choose, so we just went with Quenda, but it's actually a really lovely little setting. Again, no power, but there's long drop toilets here, um, and their sites, I'll just flick around and show you, you can see. Um, really nicely spaced out excuse the dirty van we went through a couple of rough tracks on the way through um, but there's you know gas barbecues and things like that that you can use here if you want the girls have absolutely loved um, climbing the trees and playing in the bush around here there's firewood provided uh, which I think is just spectacular so um, we've had a fire the last couple of nights which has been lovely the girls have toasted marshmallows and and all of that sort of stuff but I'll just give you a swing around here um, it's a really cool little bush setting the kids have been playing in again nobody here so you know start start of the school term um, there were a couple of hikers here the other day but they sort of kept to themselves so it's been really quiet and peaceful the stars have been unreal at night um, and today we're going off to uh, explore Margaret River and surrounds. So we're going to head up to Bustleton, uh, check out the jetty and then head along some of the, the coastal spots. Um, and then we might go and get some of that uh, yummy Simo's ice cream that uh, everybody raves about.
Sue's over there that she got oh. <laughs> didn't quite match her thongs this morning. <laughs> They're very cute, aren't they? No. Um, the place we're at has um, a long-standing history of creating the most delectable um, treats from the cacao plant and we said to the girls that mummy and Dita really need to to go and sample you know these delicacies they're not particularly happy about it are you Ebs? are you Charlotte? why not? because you're tasting wine tasting wine made from the cacao plant yeah yeah. Oh, well, look, sometimes you just got to look after mum and dad too, don't you? Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, shall we get this over and done with then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh, yeah. can we say about our time in Walpole and Marga River? Firstly, it has to be mentioned that we certainly didn't afford this place enough time. We wish we had more. The plethora of stunning beaches, interesting towns, amazing wineries, delicious food, and a number of different tourist sites just could not possibly be explored with the time that we had. Even if you had months, even years, you probably still couldn't explore everything here. We certainly loved our time here and we're looking forward to further adventures in Perth. One of the things that I think uh, struck me during this time was the fact that I think we're really in a full-blown holiday mode. Um, work seems like, and home seem like distant things in the past, and we're really in looking forward to our future adventures. Seeing the girls grow with every step has just been amazing, and I can't wait to continue this journey with them all.